what's really good, what's really good. Today we're going to talk about something that we talk about a lot, structure-based pricing. And we're going to talk about five reasons why a lot of people are afraid of structure-based pricing, why a lot of content creators don't want to go that route. We're kind of beating a dead horse, but I'm sure you have heard some of these excuses. Um, and today we're going to go right into it. We're going to talk about it. First thing we got to do though, is we got to roll graphics. You know how we roll. We got to roll graphics. Let's do that first. What's really good if this is your first time on this channel right here, this channel was designed for content creators like yourself that want to turn their passion into profit. We help you get that bag. We help you go from working a nine to five, loving photography and videography to living a life where this is what you do for a living. My name is Ty Turner. I'm a former army combat photographer and the owner of flash film media. And today we're going to talk about how to price things, right? Switching over to a different pricing model and understanding why it benefits you as a business owner. We're going to give you five reasons why a lot of old school photographers or videographers don't want to switch over to that method. They are stuck in yesteryear living in a world where they can run around and ask people their budget, even though we live in a world where that's not a comfortable thing to do. When was the last time you were happy about spending money after somebody asked you, how much money did you bring to spend with me today? It's not a good thing to ask. Now, a lot of what I'm going to talk about is covered in module one. A lot of people want to know where to start, where to start, where to start. And in that module, we have a whole chapter dedicated to teaching you how to build structure-based pricing into your business. Right? We teach you how to build it into your business and we teach you how to understand how it works for you. Not just as people think structure based pricing just allows you to offer a price to a client. But what it does is allow you clients to upsell themselves. It makes the sales process easier for you. It makes it easier for you to close sales. And when you provide the client with the right amount of options, you get clients choosing options instead of them saying no. So you close more sales. And when we can make pricing make sense, more people will buy it. It's hard to make something creative make sense that feel like they may be taking a risk by hiring you. So if you can lay it out for them and you can make it make sense, they'll be more willing to open up their wallets, their pocketbooks, their purses to buy from you. Remember, when you are selling to a business, businesses don't buy off emotional decisions. They buy off logic. So the more logical you can make your pricing, the more they will buy. Think about that. Whenever you approach a business, they don't buy based off emotions. People buy based off emotions. People buy because they like you. People buy because you're cool and they heard about you from such and such and them and yada, yada, yada. People buy for those reasons. Businesses do not. That's why branding and things like that is extremely important as you look to build this company. And that's why in the courses, we start you off understanding that and then we teach you what you need to know to build your brand, to appeal to a company. Now that you understand that, we can go ahead and move forward. Let's start with number one. The number one reason that people don't want to switch over to structure-based pricing is it requires uh, work on your end. It's a lot of work. You have to flush out your services and products. And a lot of people don't want to do that. They want to just wing it. They want to just say, okay, you want this, that, and the other. We can put it together, maybe blah, 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 blah. They don't want to have to focus on what they offer. They don't want to have to take inventory of their systems and processes or their services. A lot of y'all don't want to do it because y'all do too much, because y'all everywhere. And you want to sit back and have a client come to you and you just wing it. Yeah, I guess we can do it for that amount. You want to look at just time as a factor to bill a client. And there's a lot more to it than just time. So if you have structure-based pricing for a client, it makes more sense. Because a client is looking at you and saying, well, you're flying a drone. 
whether you're standing here with a camera or you're sitting here with a remote control flying a drone, why does the price change? It's still an hour of work. How are you trying to charge me more? If you have structure-based pricing, it makes sense to the client because they can see that this equipment is involved. This type of service is different than this type of service. Number two is it makes you realize you do too much, right? A lot of people like, I don't want to do structure-based pricing because I do everything and I have a million products because you do too much. You need to focus on an area that you can create products for, right? Wingstop, focus on wings. KFC, focus on chicken. They got different variations of chicken, but they're not trying to do pizza and, you know, Mexican food and Chinese food. They're focused on just Southern style chicken. They focus on that. They, they try to be the best at that. You can't do everything. I know you have a camera that can capture a lot of stuff, but you can't do everything. Just like KFC got a stove that can cook everything. McDonald's got a deep fryer. They can deep fry everything. But you have to focus on one thing and one niche and you have to do it well. Because if you're starting a business and mom and pop didn't give you 150, 200,000 to go start your business, more than likely you don't have the money needed to develop and market everything you do. However, if you dump all your, I know they say don't dump all your eggs in one basket, but if you dump everything and focus on one type of thing, you can build a brand, develop a marketing strategy and be successful. Number three, number three reason content creators don't want to focus on structure-based pricing is it requires you to focus on the brand that you present to your client. You can no longer present this half as photography company that's just John's photography. You know, a lot of people think that they, they missing money. A lot of people think that they ain't going to get all the bread. One, a client knows they're there to spend money depending on the brand that's in front of them. You don't go to Tiffany's and think you're about to get a cheap earring. You go to Tiffany's to cut a check. If not, you go buy some jewelry from Walmart. Now, if I'm buying jewelry from Walmart, I expect to spend $50, $60, $70. If I go see Jacob the jeweler, I expect to spend a lot of money. Well, why is that? Because Walmart has built a brand around value and being cheap, being inexpensive and affordable. And Jacob the jeweler has built a brand around being expensive, being a luxury exclusive item. So build your brand to be that. Number four reason why, you know, people aren't switching to structure-based pricing because they feel like they they leaving money on the table by not asking for a budget. I tell you all the time, people are like, well, what if they got a huge budget? And what if they yada, yada, yada? Go to Apple's website. Their cheapest product that they offer is a school version of a iPad, which is $249. Their highest product, if you max out a MacBook Pro with the screens and everything, is well over 60000 So... They range in a way where you can spend whatever you want. You need to make sure that your products are list out, listed out that way. Yeah, man, we can come shoot some B-roll for an hour, or we can shoot a commercial in six different locations with an eight-man crew and drone footage and teleprompters and yada, yada, yada. You need to make sure your pricing is structured that way. Number five reason a lot of content creators don't switch over to structure-based pricing is they're stuck in their ways. It's simply because they don't understand the method. They don't understand the method that they're currently using is no longer current. It worked in the 80s. It worked in the 90s. It don't work no more. As a business owner, you need to be flexible. And if you're a small business, there's no reason why you shouldn't be flexible. There's no reason why you shouldn't be coming out with new products and doing stuff really fast. You're not a big company like GE that got to go through all this process and changing departments and paperwork and moving money and blah, 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 blah to come out with a new screwdriver. Like you shouldn't have to do that. For you as a one man band, hey, we're gonna do this, period. We off, small boats turn way faster than big boats. So you a small ship, you need to make the turn. Hey, keep in mind that the video you just watched contains clips from a longer lecture that's available to our gold members at flashfromacademy.com. You can go to flashfromacademy.com to watch the complete lectures. If you wanna get all the gems and all the information, or you can stay on the channel and continue watching some of our content here. Just click one of those boxes somewhere around here. Just, yeah, you know where to go. Right up in here, somewhere, wherever it pops up, you, you know what to do. You got this.